Hey guys, this is Wesley Shibata from DevTech, and I have here today is our Kevlar version of our Ronin mask. Finally, it's out. Finally, we had time to finish it. So, as you guys can see, it is a lot. It looks a lot like our Ronin mask because it is our Ronin mask. The only difference is this one is made of Kevlar. It has six layers of Kevlar in the mask right here. It has 15 layers of Kevlar in um, the plates right here. And this is rated at level 2A. Now we tested it with um, 9 millimeter. 1080 FPS that penetrated up to right up to the middle and with the 22 LR penetrated like about four layers and then we tested it with uh, 45 ACP that one just bounced off and we tested with um, 12 gauge buckshot with nine pellets in it it was rated at 1080 FPS that too didn't penetrate as you guys can see it looks damn cool now, of course, um, in the future, we're planning to add a lot more. Now, right now, there's available plates for night vision, and we have um, railing system as well. And in the future, we would like to make it as a complete helmet, as a complete helmet. And hopefully, we can um, also attach, like... Uh, gas mask so and level 2a hopefully in the future we can also reach up to level 3a okay so for this mask we have um, three different sizes this is the regular and we expanded it a bit because um, it's going to be a lot thicker than our fiberglass mask this is 1180 grams so it's a bit heavy but it's not as heavy as your ordinary Kevlar helmet out there that's available um, without the plates this is about 800 grams as for our Ronin fiberglass version that's about 620 grams with the plates and without the plates is about 400 grams so it is pretty light now to tell you more about this one, the main feature about this mask is the lens frames right here. The lens frames has micro jet fans built in inside these. Okay, so this is our airsoft version. As you can see, there's a wire and there is a fan right there. Okay, this is the ventilation duct. Now, this one has a cover because. Um, um, you can also protect it from dust, water, and also for people who want to play paintball, this is pretty reliable. Um, it's not that difficult to clean as well. Now, when you want to change the lens, it's very easy. Just um, push out the lens frames and then slide out this lens and then change it to the new one. Now, the jet fans, what the jet fans do, basically it blows air into the lens and then um, it helps eliminate the fogging. We have here the system. We have a forward switch and a reverse switch. The reverse switch is basically to suck in air out um, when it's really humid inside. And this one right here is the dial. You can put it up to max speed and low speed. Now with the max speed, of course, it's going to make a bit of whistling noise because of the fan and the air, but you only need up to uh, the lowest point. And the lowest point, once it reaches that, it's going to make a quanta effect inside the atmosphere of um, the lens frames. Okay, so it's basically going to make a circulation, um, the, make the air circulate. Now, I have videos for that too. You guys can check that one. And you can check the videos for our testing, ballistic testing in Philippines. And um, it was witnessed by professionals and the guys helped me out. They were very helpful as well. Okay, so we have um, three sizes, like I said, regular, large, and wide. And hopefully in the future, we can make a lot more sizes for other people. Okay, so let's look at the mask right there. Now, it has, it is operated with three AAA batteries. We can also change it to light polymer batteries if you guys want that one. Now, you don't have to worry about um, uh, the batteries. It's not going to hit your face. 
um, it's pretty right there it's embedded right there okay you can also put a lot more foams wherever you want and basically that's all I can think of right now um, this one right here it's magnetized okay because if you want to snipe or have a really good cheek weld you can rest your cheek right into butt right on the buttstock and you can snipe or see through your iron sights no problem okay so if you guys want more information please do send us a message in Facebook try to email us um, we have the links below check out our other YouTube and please do share our videos really appreciate it and again thank you guys very much this is Wesley Shibata from DevTech appreciate it